Writing Style Refresher. In this refresher, we will review six steps for improving the style of your writing. Some of this information was adapted from Sobronik, Meyer, and Kemper, authors of Writers, Inc., a guidebook for writers. See pages 38 to 44. Step number one, use complete sentences. A sentence fragment is a group of words that does not contain a full thought, usually because they are missing a subject or a verb. Incorrect example. According to researcher, behavior management as an important primary or adjuvant treatment for ADHD in school-aged children. Note that there is no verb in this sentence fragment. Correction. According to researcher, behavior management is an important primary or adjuvant treatment for ADHD in school-aged children. Correction. According to researcher, behavior management has at times been overlooked as an important primary or adjuvant treatment for ADHD in school-aged children. A comma splice involves combining two independent clauses, that is, clauses containing a subject and a verb, with a comma. To correct, replace the comma with a semicolon or add an appropriate conjunction or conjunctive adverb. Incorrect example. Many students in educational leadership are pursuing principal certification. They hope to move into leadership positions upon graduation. Note that there are two independent clauses here. Students are pursuing certification and they hope to move into leadership positions. Correct by replacing the comma with a semicolon, adding and between the two clauses, or creating two separate sentences. Correction. Many students in educational leadership are pursuing principal certification, and they hope to move into leadership positions upon graduation. Correction. Many students in educational leadership are pursuing principal certification. They hope to move into leadership positions upon graduation. A run-on sentence involves two or more sentences being combined without any punctuation or appropriate word connecting them. Separate these with a semicolon if there are just two sentences, or create separate sentences. Incorrect example. The teacher who won the humanitarian award was recognized at the annual conference. She was honored for her work with at-risk students in an inner city school. Correction. The teacher who won the humanitarian award was recognized at the annual conference. She was honored for her work with at-risk students in an inner city school. Correction. The teacher who won the humanitarian award was recognized at the annual conference. She was honored for her work with at-risk students in an inner city school. Step number two, ensure clarity of meaning. An indefinite reference involves using pronouns with an unclear or undefined antecedent. Incorrect example. It is the most innovative intervention since the development of applied behavior analysis. Note, in this example, what does it refer to? Correction, individualized computer-assisted instruction is the most innovative intervention since the development of applied behavior analysis. Dangling and misplaced modifiers. Make sure that adjectival and adverbial phrases are close to the noun or verb they modify. Incorrect example. The teacher demonstrated a science experiment to the students using the smart board. In this example, it is unclear whether the teacher used the smart board or whether the students used the smart board. Correct example. Using the smart board, the teacher demonstrated a science experiment to the students. In this example, the teacher used the smart board to demonstrate the science experiment. Step number three, be concise. Try to be concise with words. Delete unnecessary words or phrases. For example, choose now rather than at this point in time. Choose because rather than due to the fact that. Eliminate vague modifiers such as very, quite, somewhat, etc. Wordiness involves repeating words or their synonyms unnecessarily. Flowery language involves using too many adjectives or adverbs, big words, too many synonyms, that is, thesaurus overkill, or overly complicated language. A wordy, flowery example. At the first glimmer of the sun rising from the east, my diurnal gustatory habit is to break my fast with a meticulously calculated consumption of a bovine-created beverage, processed grain, and the sweet yellow perennial produce grown in the tropics. 
This example may seem ridiculous, but writers sometimes mistakenly believe that they must use bigger or more technical words to make their writing more impressive. When a writer overuses such language, the sentence can become show-offy, confusing, or even nonsensical. Correction. Every morning I have a balanced breakfast of milk, cereal, and banana. Avoid trite expressions and cliches, which are worn out expressions that do not add to the meaning of your sentences. Examples. Since the dawn of time, welcome with open arms, a matter of life and death, last but not least. Step number four, write smooth sentences. Choppy writing involves nu using numerous short sentences without transitions. To address this issue, try combining sentences and use transitions. Incorrect example. The students shouted. The students ran around the room. It was chaotic. There appeared to be no classroom management plan in place. The teacher looked defeated. Correction. Chaos reigned as the students shouted and ran around the room. There appeared to be no classroom management plan in place, and the teacher looked defeated. Split constructions involve inserting a phrase awkwardly in the middle of the sentence rather than before or after the main idea of the sentence. Incorrect example. Everyone should, when the bell rings, be sitting. Note that when the bell rings is the awkward phrase that modifies everyone should be sitting. Correction. When the bell rings, everyone should be sitting. Correction. Everyone should be sitting when the bell rings. Mixed construction involves starting a sentence with one form and then changing it at some point in the same sentence. Incorrect example. A survey is when you give a questionnaire to many people and ask them to send in their responses. Note that the sentence starts off with a phrase that suggests a description, a survey is, but then switches to a narrative form when you give a questionnaire. Correction. A survey involves giving a questionnaire to many people and asking them to send in their responses. Step number five, use consistent organization. Parallel construction. When several items are in a series, they must have the same grammatical form. Incorrect example. Limitations include the small sample size, the authors didn't use randomization, and the instruments were not reliable. In this example, the first item in the list, small sample size, is a phrase, while the other two items are entire clauses, noun plus verb. Correction. Limitations include the small sample size, lack of randomization, and unreliable instrumentation. In the example above, all three words in bold are nouns. Another correct example. The program involves introducing a self-monitoring form, presenting an intervention, and tracking change using the form. In the example, all three words in bold are gerunds, ing verbs that function as nouns. Step number six, write like a researcher. Use the author's last name as the subject of the sentence. For example, Smith investigated the role of parental involvement in student achievement. Furthermore, when citing sources, use only the author's last name. Omit first initials, names, Mr., Ms., Doctor, etc. Similarly, it is rare that the title of an article, book chapter, or book would be included in the text itself. Just refer to the study by the author and year. Finally, avoid anthropomorphizing the words study, research, results, findings, data, etc. These things can reveal, indicate, suggest, etc. In contrast, only people, authors or researchers, can hypothesize, conduct, conclude, state, etc. When in doubt, use the authors or the word researcher as the subjects. This concludes the writing style refresher.